And voila, this is yours. Hey, my beautiful shining stars. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Karis and this is Charisma Star TV. If you're not a part of the beautiful shining star family, we would love to have you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for modis. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Charisma Life TV, which is our vlog channel where we post five times a week. As many of you know, I absolutely love wigs. Wigs are so fun. I think it's a really safe way to play around with color and style. I just think wigs are fabulous, whether you're doing a full-on transformation character cosplay look, or if you're just stepping out in style. So with that said, Donna Love Hair reached out to me and they wanted to send me a wig and I thought that was awesome and I said, would I be able to have one of your human hair wigs? So they have a variety of synthetic wigs and human hair wigs and their um, synthetic wigs are very beautiful that I've seen on their Instagram and on their website. They just come in a wide range of color and style. But for me, how often I use wigs, I love to invest in a good human hair wig because with human hair wigs, you could wash them, you could style them, you could dye them. and I I'm changing it up so much that it's something that I like to have. So I went on their website and I looked at their human hair wigs and they have different categories and sections and I wanted a lace front uh, platinum blonde wig. So they have an area where there's like celebrity styles um, and color and I picked the one that was modeled off of Dove Cameron's hair, which Dove Cameron has this beautiful platinum blonde hair going on and so it shows you a picture and I'll put it up, but that's what the wig is supposed to reflect and look like. This one says Platinum Blonde Long Lace Front Human Hair Wig, HH009. It starts at $196, which you could add on and customize for more money. But I think $196 is a really good price, especially for a Platinum Blonde wig, because you could take it and you could dye it whatever color you want, or you could keep it as is. Some women pay thousands of dollars for hair because they wear it every single day. It's an investment but I really think that this is a good price for a human hair wig. So you could choose the hair color, the hair texture, the lace color, light brown or translucent. You could do the cap size, hair length, density, and the cap construction. So uh, this is what it came in, you guys, and you are seeing the full on review, me taking it out of the package. Oh, and it comes in this cute um, Tiffany blue uh, case. Sad, it's a little dinged up. The box is really cute and it says enjoy in the back and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And just for full disclosure, I am not getting paid for this video. They just offered to send me a free wig and give my honest review and that's what you're gonna get. Whether it was paid or not, you're gonna get that. So it comes with this little paper saying, Donna Love Hair, Love Is All, exclusive to Karis Lincoln. And then it gives the wig number and the color. And I put um, same as picture for the color and length 24 inches. Oh, they included this really cute brush, um, pink, and it says Donna Love Hair, that's awesome. Here is the wig itself. And then they also give you a wig cap, which I'm gonna show you guys how to put that on and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> so it comes in like a little light mesh netting and taking it out, whoa, oh wow. So this is a lot more curly um, than I thought, but I don't mind it. I actually love curly wigs. So it is a tad bit blonder than the picture because I've seen Dove Cameron's hair up close too and it's pretty platinum blonde. I feel this is more blonde than platinum, but uh, for me, I could totally use that, but I could see if you were buying off of the website and you wanted it exactly like. I wouldn't say it was an exact match, but it's very similar. It also comes with about two inches of lace, which is noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that to my hairline. Um, lace is very nice. I love lace front because I feel that it looks a lot more natural um, when you put it on and the hairs are coming um, through. It's not just like a solid line. It, you could customize it to fit yours and make it look pretty natural. It smells really, really good, nice and clean. And again, on the picture, 
hers is kind of straighter with a little slight wave at the end. This one's a lot more curly, but I mean, you fix that yourself as far as like being able to wash it and style it and have it any way you want it to. But yes, I absolutely love the density of this wig. It feels nice and full and the hair feels super soft and nice. I love it. I also love the fact that it has little baby hairs with it because I feel this is key in making the wig look more natural. So this is what the wig looks like um, turned inside out. And you have, you could see the lace coming down here, which is nice. It comes with three clips inside, which is, this is really nice to kind of grab into your hair and make it stay into place. It also comes with adjustable straps inside, which is awesome because you could cater it to your um, head size. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put on my wig and I learned from my girl, Tracy Hans. Um, she is the master of the wigs. So I'm not very fancy with hairstyling and braids and stuff. I wish I was, but I only know how to do a basic braid. Um, so what I do is I part my hair in two and then I put it into pigtails and then I braid the three strands together and I put it, hold it together with these little elastic rubber bands and I'm gonna go ahead and take off my hat. Woo! I can see my head shape, whoa! So as you see, my hair is already in two braids. Uh, my hair is more on the thinner side, um, but I do a lot of uh, teasing to add volume to it. So if you're fancy and you know how to do a braid where it starts here and then you braid it close to your head and then down, that's always really nice to be able to have um, just something where you're having your hair lay as flat as possible on your head. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this braid, I'm just gonna put it around back and lay it flat to my head, wrap it around my big ear, and then I'm gonna secure it with safety pins. Ta-da! So I know a lot of people, they just put the wig cap on and then they put the wig on, but to me, I don't like it because it doesn't feel very secure. It feels like somebody could just come up to me and just like rip off the wig. Um, with the bobby pins and the hair like fastened down, I feel it's a lot more secure. I feel a lot more safe wearing it. So here it comes, which I really like that it comes with a uh, netted cap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip that over my hair. Whoa. Okay, so I went ahead and slipped that over my hair and tried to get my baby hairs, which I have a lot of baby hairs with the little babies. Oh, yeah, it's fabulous. And then for extra safety, I like to uh, bobby pin the actual safety net to the hair as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and put this beautiful wig on and show you guys what it looks like. And voila, this is yours. So I haven't secured it. Usually I secure it with bobby pins. Um, or gel it down a little bit more, but I kind of want you to see it, what it looks like all the way round. And wham, bam, shamma lama, you guys. There is your blonde bombshell hair. Um, this is it pretty much out of the bag. I just split it to the side a little bit because that's the way I like to do my hair. I could tell just because my hair is darker, like a little bit of it peeking through, you could always, um, put glue or gel on the lace front itself to help keep it flat on your head instead of like flipping up a little bit. A couple things I wanna note, I do have very dark, dark hair as well as a lot of baby hair. My forehead is also on the bit smaller side. So if you had more of a bigger forehead, you don't have to really worry so much about the hairline because the wig covers it a little bit better. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and dye the roots a little bit or add in some spray um, just so it blends in with my hair a little bit more. Also this wig is a bit more blonder and curlier than it is on the picture of Dev Cameron. For me, that's okay because I am planning to do some blonde character looks like Rapunzel, Barbie, Tinkerbell, which I feel that this wig would be perfect for, but I could see how that could be a little bit frustrating if you were paying full price for it and you're expecting it to look exactly like the photo. But the beautiful things about human hair wigs is you could always dye it and tone it or cut it to get it the exact way you want it to. With that all being said, I personally love this wig. I love the way it smells. 
smells, I love the way it looks, I love the volume of it, I love the color of it. It is very nice. But yeah, yes, just running my fingers through it, it feels very nice and good quality. So big thank you to Donna Love Hair for sending me this beautiful wig and throwing a discount code for you, my beautiful Shining Stars. They're offering 25% off of their synthetic wigs, which those wigs are just as beautiful. And the code is Charisma, that's right, for 25% off. And that is pretty much it for this wig review. If you guys want to see anything else concerning wigs, or if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Also, I would like to know what character you would want me to see transform into next. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Mwah!